Sveiki and welcome back to your irregular Latvian lesson. You might have already noticed that when November rolls around in Latvia, the mood around you becomes festive and the people become patilati, literally uplifted in joyful anticipation of something. And the reason is that on the 18th of November, Latvia celebrates her birthday! So today, to mark the 102nd year of our dear Latvia, I've prepared a special lesson for you, important for understanding Latvians and integrating within Latvians, and that is Latvian national symbols. Let's go! The national symbols of Latvia. As we are a singing nation, let's begin with our national anthem, Valsts Hymna, Dev Sveti Latviju, or in English, God Bless Latvia. The song, written in 1872 by Karlis Baumanis, became the official Latvian anthem in 1920. But for the most part of its existence, it has been subject to various types of censorship. During the Russian Empire, performers were discouraged from using the word Latvia and were instead asked to sing Dev Sveti Baltiju. And of course, during the Soviet times the hymna was forbidden altogether. Now though, it is back in its rightful place and protected by the law on the national anthem. Among other things, the law prescribes that orchestras and choirs should perform the Latvian national anthem in B major, Sibemal Majora. But if you wish to perform it solo, you don't have to be a soprano. The law prescribes a lower key the F major. There is another Latvian song that is so important to us that even a small petition started for it to replace the national anthem because of the power and might of its lyrics, melody and even the title. Saule Parkwans Daugava – The Sun, the Thunder and the Daugava River. In this song, the sun and the thunder are portrayed as the parents of the Latvians who helped us acquire and then protect our land. And Daugava the longest river that flows through Latvia has historically been an important transport and commerce route, a source of drinking water and a strategic asset. The river is so important to Latvians that we even gave it a national nickname. Liktenjupe, the river of destiny. Arguably much more sonically powerful than the Sveti Latviju, Saule Parkons Daugava has always been a favorite among the Latvian song and dance festival choirs. But even though it has not replaced our national anthem, Saule Parkons Daugava did have its moment in the sun when, in 2014, it was chosen as one of the anthems for the Catalonian independence movement. Give it a listen when you have time, I've put the link to the Song and Dance Festival performance in the description. Next, the Latvian Karwux is Sarkanbal Sarkans, which is how, in one word, we say red, with a white line in the middle. The oldest accounts of Latvian tribes adopting the Sarkanbal Sarkanais Karwux date back to the 13th century, when, according to legend, a Latvian tribe leader from around the Tesis region was killed in battle and his men wrapped him in a white sheet. The part where he was lying remained white, while the sides of the sheet were stained red with his blood. His men kept the sheet and fought under it in their next battle. And guess what? They won. Then, in 1915, so World War I, when the Russian Empire allowed for Latvian riflemen regiments to be formed, the Latvian Strelnieki also chose to fight under the Sarkanbal Sarkanais Karuoks, thus connecting our sense of national identity forever to these colors. But it seems that other nations have also connected themselves to these colors. If you're thinking that the Latvian Karuoks looks quite similar to the Austrian Karuoks, you are not wrong. Even though if you look you see ours is darker than theirs and differently shaped, many, even people working in diplomacy, have made the mistake of confusing the two. Most notably when Russian diplomats greeted Austria with a birthday card which depicted the beautiful friendship of Russia and Latvia, 
or the huge oopsie of Macedonia when they welcomed the Austrian Chancellor with the Latvian flag waving proudly and joining in the welcome. However, if you look at the pictures, that flag seems to be a very strange hybrid of Latvian and Austrian colors. Not sure if that could be considered a Latvian flag. The proportions are right, but the color seems very far off from the Latvian deep red. So. Maybe it was the sunlight, or maybe it was AliExpress. Anyway, the visual similarities are not the only things that unite the Latvian and Austrian karuogi. Both are among the oldest flags in the world, and both origin stories involve a white cloth and blood lost in battle. Why is then the Latvian one darker than the Austrian? Well, for one of two reasons. Either Austrians get more oxygen in their blood out there in the Alps, or the Latvian battle happened on a typical Latvian day, which was cloudy. Okay, the third national symbol is the Djarbonis, Djarbonis, the coat of arms of Latvia. We have the big version, the small version, and the small but enhanced version. The rising sun symbolizes the birth and development of the new Latvian state. The three stars, just like the three that Milda, our freedom monument holds, symbolizes the three historic regions of Latvia, Vidzeme, Latgale, and Kurzeme Zemgale, which were together for much of our history. There are also branches of the Uazuls, the oak, our national tree and symbol of might and power, a Sarkan Bal Sarkan's ribbon, and also a red lion and a silver griff. The lion, heritage from the duchy of Kurzeme Zemgal heraldry, symbolizes power and bravery, while the silver griff, heritage of the duchy of Pardaugava, symbolizes wisdom and alertness. The creation process of our coat of arms is said not to have been very smooth, as there were many opponents of incorporating symbols of old German rulers into the new Derbuanis. But those who were for it argued that the incorporation of these historic symbols shows that for centuries in the territory of Latvia there had been state-like institutions, which makes her an important and inalienable part of European history. In the final speech before the vote to accept the Jarbonis, the leader of the working group of heraldry of the Saima said this, besides, the Latvian sun has risen over these historic symbols and it is she who now dominates this new composition. Now for some quick less official symbols. We have Rupimaize, rye bread, the source of Latvian health and might. And if you're ever lost, you only have to bite into your shell slice of Rupimaize and it will instantly transform itself into the map of Latvia. Another national symbol that we used to have was our national currency. Latti and Santimi. Not only was it a very strong and expensive currency, but we also loved collecting the special anniversary editions of one and two Latti coins. Well, things change. Now it's more practical. Then Lielvardis Juesta, you probably have already seen it in tourist shops in Riga, a very beautiful and complex belt with Latvian motifs that hold powerful codes of magic that we will look at in another video. And finally, the 18th of November 1918, the day of the proclamation of the Latvian independence. The day was Monday, the place was the now national theater of Latvia, and the proof is this one photographia. For reasons still unknown today, there was one photographer present, and he took one image of the event, and now you can see it once a year in the Museum of Riga History and Navigation. The rest of the time, this photographia and its original negative are hidden away from eyes deep down in the caves of the museum. And for good reason. The photographia survived the Soviet times by miracle, and thanks to the family of the photographer Vilis Rydinieks, who masked it shut with paper and hid it for 49 years. So go and marvel at it now. The 
picture is available for you to see until the 29th of November, except on the 18th of November, because that day the museum, just like the rest of Latvia, is closed. Because all of the Latvians gather together or self-isolate to celebrate the birthday of Latvia. Thank you for watching your irregular Latvian lesson on the national symbols of Latvia. I hope you too feel more patilati now and are ready to raise your glass tonight, lai mūžam dzīvo Latvija! Prieka!